Okay, so it says we're broadcasting right now. Let me check. Just to check. Yeah, you on you on live. Notification right. popped up. Kind, kind. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I can hear myself too. So, all right, you know, a shalom, shalom, akim. You know, uh, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Yahweh, ba Hashem, ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, ba Hashem Kakadash, ba Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the full conserve, pushing the spirit in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother uh, Kazatba. Shamar War. You know, we'll come back with another quick lesson. This be probably y'all by Shimao Shai. And, um, you know, this uh, lesson, as you see of the title, you know, Israel, it is now time, okay, to repent. Okay. We are uh, coming into the uh, Day of Atonement. Okay, starting uh sundown today, you know, Thursday, right here, the twenty seventh, to sundown uh, you know, of tomorrow, Friday, the twenty eighth. Okay. And um this is a, a a fasting, okay, day that we fast, afflict our souls, and that um we repent unto Yahweh by Shimia Oshai, okay, you know, to for to atone for you know our sins. So the first scripture I actually want to get is uh uh can you, brother can you get that is Ezekiel 14 and 6. All right. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. It says, Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith Yahweh power, repent and turn yourselves from your idols. Kind. All right. So Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is saying what to the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, also known as the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay? To repent, which means to sorrowfully turn back unto your power. Okay, keep on reading. And it says, uh, and, turn, and turn away your face from all your abominations. It says, and turn away your face from all your abominations. And what's an abomination? A wicked, detestable, filthy act, man. Okay. Meaning, you know, what's some of them, you know, getting shape ups, lineups, getting tattoos, eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, committing adultery, which is a man sleeping with another man's wife. Okay. Or a woman stepping out on her husband. Okay. You know, uh, what's some more? Uh, you know, being a homosexual, being into bestiality, you know, transgenderism. Okay. All these things, okay. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said, turn away from yourselves and turn away from your idols. All right, which are what the other guys that you serve that are not Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which the Heavenly Father's true name in Hebrew is Yahweh. All right, his only begotten son, who the world name calls Jesus Christ, his name is Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and these are so called black men, like so called. We say that, okay, you know, all right. So th these are the powers that you need to be serving and not serving Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, you know, the Hindu goddess Shiva, yourself, these celebrities, man. Okay. All right. You need to be serving Yahweh by Shimia All right. Keep on reading, brother. Verse seven. For every one of the house of Israel or the or of Saki <clears throat> or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separated himself from me. All right, so that even goes for what, Slocky, bro? You know, that even goes for what? The Israelite foreigners, okay? You know, those that are Israelites that might look like the other heathen nations, okay? You know, to you, all right, if you and also the, the people that know the Israelites too, if you separate yourself from the Lord, okay, you know, well, we know that's a uh, pride according to the Bible, or well, one departs from his maker. Okay, if you separate yourself from Yahweh by Shimel Shai, all right, keep on reading, brother. It says, <clears throat> and put up a stumbling block of iniquity before his face, and cometh to the prophets to inquire of him concerning me. Mm -hmm. I will, I the Lord, Yahweh by Shimel Shai, will answer him by myself. Kind, okay. You know, 
All right. So if you if you want to separate yourself from the Lord, not come back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which two thirds of our people have done. Okay. You know, but we know that the elect are coming back. But if you want to separate yourself from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord said that He's going to visit you Himself, man. Okay. You want to uh, have these uh, these these uh, iniquities, you know, which is uh, nothing but sin upon sin. Okay. You want to continue being a niggard in America. Okay. Not coming back to your nationality of being a Hebrew Israelite, Yasha Allah. Okay. All right. The Lord said he's gonna deal with you himself, man. Okay. And we all know the scriptures the scriptures say what? Okay. That you know, when when the Lord shall visit you, what are you gonna do? Okay. All right. Keep on reading, brother. It says verse eight, and I will set my face against that man, mm -hmm. and I and will make him. A sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, you, you don't want to, you don't want to be that man, that man. Okay, so the Lord said, "What He's going to set Himself against you, meaning you're going to be an enemy unto the Lord." And we know that all enemies unto the Lord are going to be cut down. Okay, okay, all right. All those that defy Yahweh by Shimon Shai will be cut down in the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you know, so this is why we tell our people to come back to the Lord that you may be granted mercy. Okay, because only mercy is going to be given unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Why? Because they are repenting unto Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Okay, they are turning back unto Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know, asking the Lord for forgiveness. Okay, you know. All right, can brother Key Cook get uh Sirach 2? Um, and uh, we start at verse 10 just to show you who the mercy is going to be given to, who's the one that's turning back, and what's going to happen unto those that do turn back unto Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. Okay, because we just read that what the Lord said that if you want to separate yourself from him, okay, don't want to turn back, don't want to repent, that he's you're going to deal, he's going to deal with you directly, man. Okay, and the Lord is coming. Back with vengeance, man. So you don't want smoke with the Lord, so to speak, man. Okay. This is uh <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter two, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see mm -hmm. did ever any trust in Yahweh Shimmy I was shy and was confounded. And, and that's a that's a rhetorical question because if you read the scriptures, all right, the scriptures talk about what. The ancient righteous righteous men, which that's when it says, look at the generations of old. See, did did Moses trust in the Lord and he was confounded? No. Did Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob trust in the Lord and was confounded? Be made ashamed? No. Ezekiel, Elijah, you know, so on and so forth. The answer is no. Okay. Can we read him, bro? He said, and was or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Did any abide in his fear, okay, and was forsaken, man, okay? Those that what feared Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because that's the reason brothers have turned back, all right, because what? The fear of the Lord, okay, which the scriptures say what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man, okay? The wisest thing you could possibly do on this earth is fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his judgments, man. Okay, you know, or ahead, whom did, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him, or whom did he ever despise that called upon his holy name? Okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so they had those three attributes about them. They trusted in the Lord. Okay, all right. They feared Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and they called upon his holy name. All right, and these are all rhetorical questions. All right. No, he never forsook them, okay? He never hated them, okay? And they were never embarrassed, you know, for what? Coming back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay? You know? And this is the uh, this is the thing that constantly happens uh, in the earth, man, okay? That has been. The elect of the nation of Israel always comes back to the Lord, but you have two-thirds of our people who constantly, what? Disobey the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Now keep on reading. We're going to see what's going to be the reward for the elect that turn back. Lord's will would be a part of that number. Verse 11. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, 
mm -hmm. and very pitiful and forgive of sins and save of in the time of affliction. See, the Lord said he's very pitiful, very merciful. OK, you know, and he said what? That he forgive of sins and save of in the time of affliction to what? Those that what? Just like we read above that trust in him. OK, that fear him and call, and call upon his holy name. If you're not doing those things. All right. The Lord is not going to have no pity, no mercy upon you. OK, this is why we tell our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans to turn back until Yahweh Bashim Shai. We are in a day of atonement or this is a day for fasting and repentance, self-examination, asking the Lord for mercy. OK, OK. This is a designated day in the nation of Israel where all Israelites are required to do these things. OK. All right. You know, so today we're saying to you, Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's time to repent. It is time to repent because death and destruction is no longer around the corner. It is at the doorstep. Okay. The door is unlocking. Okay. Death is about to walk into the building. All right. We need to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. But we know that only the elect We'll turn back. Lord's will, we be, be a part of that graceful number, man. Okay. You know, um, brother, could you, uh, um, could you read one more verse down, brother? Verse 12. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands mm -hmm. and the sinners that go of two ways. Yeah. Uh, unstable, double-minded man, a man that doesn't trust in the Lord. That's what said. Whoa. Unto you, okay, which that's two thirds of our people. They don't trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay. All right, they trust her in their own way, okay. You know, when the scripture said to not trust in your own way, brother, you could get that uh Proverbs um one and uh uh Slaki Proverbs three and five, okay. And then I'll, I'll get the Proverbs one, brother, while you get the Proverbs three and five. You want it now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with all thine heart, mm -hmm. and lean not into thy own understanding. And it said, lean not unto thy own understanding, what you think is right, okay? Because a lot of our people, the ways that they think are right, has actually led them to nothing but death and destruction. So we're telling our people, stop doing that, man, okay? Stop the madness. Stop the BS and turn back unto your power, your God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true and living power, okay? The one who created this universe, okay? You know, the one that created you, your simple monkey ass, so to speak, man, okay? You know, turn back unto him, okay? You know, because he's the only one that's going to be able to deliver you. Only he's the only one that will be able to deliver you. And we keep on saying that over and over and over, man. Okay. This is not a game. The Lord is not playing with our people. All right. Death and destruction is about to reign to this place, America, like nobody has ever seen before. All right. And it's time to get right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Any more on that, brother? Yes. Verse six In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall, <clears throat> and he shall direct thy paths. Mm -hmm. He said, In all thy ways, acknowledge him. When you go into that word ways, it means the way you conduct yourself in this earth. Okay. Acknowledge the Lord by what your actions. The scriptures say what? Be a doer of the word, doer of the word and not a hearer only. Okay. You know, so sit down, see what you need to do to please you. How about Shemuel Shai and do so? Because if you do these things, you trust in the Lord. You fear Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. You call upon his holy name, which the elect of the nation of Israel will do. Okay. Brothers here. Because we believe in these scriptures, we can guarantee you that the Lord will not forsake you because the scriptures say so. Okay. You know, if you trust, fear, and call upon his holy name, man, those are attributes that the elect will have. Lord's will, we be a part of that number. Okay. You know, anyone that, bro? Yeah. And it says, uh, verse seven be not wise in thy own eyes. Mm -hmm. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and depart from evil. It says, Be not wise in thy own eyes. 
Don't think that you have it all figured out because you don't. A lot of our people think they got everything figured out, but they don't even know that death and destruction is at the doorstep. Okay. Like I said, we're about to see destruction on this earth that we've never seen, that nobody has ever seen in history. Okay. And it's very, very uh, important that our people turn back to Yahweh Shai. You know, but we like say, like we always say, we know that the elect will be willing and obedient, brother. We get the Isaiah one and uh, um, and nineteen and twenty. Nineteen, yeah. you know. Uh, but while you get that, bro, I'm gonna get this scripture real fast. This is the um, book of Proverbs, chapter chapter one, verse twenty two. It says, "How long, ye simple ones, we love simplicity, and scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long are you gonna be a simple?" Minded person in America, man, and not come back unto Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. How long? Well, the scriptures say what two for two thirds of our people is gonna be until this place is totally wasted with ice beam thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, we're telling you to turn back to Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. We're telling you what not to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We're telling you that to repent, repent, repent before death and destruction comes and knocks on your door. Okay. You know, you want to be protected by Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. Okay. In these last days. All right. Uh, just a little bit more on this. It says, because when I called, it's lucky. It says, verse uh, 23, it says, turn ye and my reproof, which reproof means correction. All right. It says, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And that's how the Lord is doing it right now, you know, with his men. Okay, the prophets, the men of the Lord, starting off on our apostles, the elders of great millstone to the men on down. Okay, all right. The Lord is using us as his mouthpiece to what? To pour out his spirit unto you, man. Okay, to make his words, this Bible, made known unto you. Okay, so you have no excuse at the end of the day. All right, we're going to get this scripture real fast. Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. <clears throat> if ye be willing, and obedient, mm -hmm. you shall eat the good of the land. Kind of said, if you be willing and obedient. Now, those two words, willing and obedient, actually goes back to the word humble. Okay, remember we said earlier, pride is when one turns away from his maker. Okay, you know, and we'll get that scripture afterwards. But look, this is humility. Okay, being willing and obedient, and that's the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And the good land we want to take part of is the kingdom of heaven. But the first go rounds, first dibs, man. Okay. You know, <clears throat> but we're going to get the judgment of those that don't want to be humble, willing, and obedient. Okay. You know, coming back to y'all by Shemal Shai. What's their judgment, brother? Keep on reading. Verse 20. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword for my mouth, before the mouth of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Have spoken it. Mm -hmm. It said what that if you refuse and rebel, being that prideful person, okay, being that prideful individual, that you be devoured by the sword. Now, a sword is an instrument of war, an instrument of death, okay. You know, it is something that you fight with, okay. You know, and we know that according to scriptures, that the wicked is the Lord's sword because He punishes those. He punishes the wicked with the wicked, so to speak, okay. You know. So the wicked right now is who Esau, even you know, so-called white man, he's going to punish you through him. OK, this devil's going to come down upon you. Scripture say with great wrath, like a madman sparing none. This is the definite destruction that brothers is talking about. That's about to come around the corner, along with the plagues, you know, along with the diseases. All these things is written about in the scriptures that are going to happen. OK, to those who don't want to turn back into Yahweh by Shema Shai. OK, you know. Uh, can you read that from top one more time, brother? Verse 20. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 20. And it says, But if, but if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword for my mouth. I mean, for the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have spoken it. Kai, Kai. 
And yeah, man. So the Lord said it is gonna happen, man. The Lord's not a man that he shall lie. Now I'm gonna quickly get this scripture real fast, you know, just to show the mind frame that the elect is gonna have, man. So if you find yourself to be sincere and you believe in this word, this is the mind frame that we all need to have right about right now. Okay. This is the uh prayer of Manasseh, you know, one of the part of the prayers it says, I have sinned, oh yeah, how I have sinned and I acknowledge my iniquities. Therefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Yahweh, forgive me, and destroy me not in my iniquities. So that's the mind frame that we're in right now, you know, because we know that day on a daily basis, you know, unwillingly we go off. Okay, all right, we we sin, you know, you know, because we're in this corruptible flesh. So the mind frame, of the elect, right now as we speak, okay, are what is praying to the Lord, beseeching, begging. For forgiveness, you know, for the things that they have done. Okay. We acknowledge that we've went off. Okay. It says, Oh, Yahweh, forgive me and destroy me not in my iniquity. Be not angry with me forever by reserving evil for me. See, a lot of our people have reserved evil, bad times for them. Okay, brother. Uh, while I'm reading this, can you get a uh, uh, second Ezra 15? Uh, start at verse 5 Okay It says I'm going to keep on reading It says be not angry with me Forever by reserving evil For me neither condemn Me in To the lower parts of the earth Meaning going down to the grave Okay dying it says For thou art Yahweh, Even the power Of them that repent The power of them that repent Okay all right, it says, and in me wilt thou show thy goodness, for thou wilt save me, that I it said that I'm unworthy according to thy great mercy. Therefore, I will praise thee forever, all the days of my life, for the powers of heaven do praise thee, and thy name is glory forever and ever among. Okay, all right, so this right here. It's showing you this is a you know uh king uh manasha man okay we, when he went off you know and death was supposed to be to him you know guess what he prayed unto the lord you know for forgiveness and the lord forgave him okay you know so this is just one, one of the mind frames that the elect of the nation israel is gonna have that what to beg for forgiveness because they know they went off they acknowledge their sins man okay and guess what? The Lord's going to have mercy upon the elect because they're humbly doing so. Okay. All right. Now, quick, you get that scripture, brother, because remember, the Lord said that uh, uh, right now, the prayer of Manasseh, the, uh, Manasseh asked the Lord to not reserve evil for him. But this is what's going to happen unto the uh, two thirds of the nation of Israel. So get that, brother. This is Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, say if Yahweh was shy. I will bring plagues upon the world. Mm -hmm. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. Now stop right there, brother. So we just heard that, right? The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Those are the plagues. Okay. All right. Now, brother, uh, hop to verse 20, uh, 26. Verse 26. For Yahweh Shem Yahushah know of all them that sin against him. Mm -hmm. And therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction. All right. He knows all of them that what will this is talking about willfully sinning, not caring about what the Lord commanded you to do. He knows all those that willfully do that. OK. All right. And he's going to deliver them. He has reserved judgment. All right. They're, so their 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 death and destruction is reserved. He's going to hand them over to death and destruction. Keep on reading, brother. It says, verse 27, for now are the plagues come upon the whole world. Uh -huh, remember, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, all those things, okay? You want to read it? And ye shall remain in them, for the Most High shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. You know, so the Lord just said what? He, he's going to let you remain in those, what, plagues? The sword, famine, death, and destruction, because what you sinned against them, you won't turn back. Okay, two thirds of our people will not turn back. That's just the fact of the matter. Okay, but Lord's will be part of the elected nation of Israel that we stop 
the madness that we're doing and that every day we get closer and closer into Yahweh by Shema Shai trusting in him. Okay. You know, because this is what the nation of Israel needs to do. All right. Because we don't want to suffer death and destruction. The evil days are reserved for two thirds of our people, man. That's majority of our people. Okay. Brother, can you get Jeremiah 11, 11 real fast? Mm -hmm. You know, because our people don't realize the seriousness of the situation. Okay. And it's really about to get dire out here. Okay. That's why we keep on going into for our people to repent, repent, repent. This is the time to repent. Okay. Time to turn back unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay. You know, ask the Lord for forgiveness. All right. And not only just ask and speak, but do it and show it in your actions. Okay. Acknowledge Yahweh by Shema Shai in all that ways, your conduct, how you live on this earth. Okay. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they, right. shall not, which they shall not be able to escape. He said, which they shall not be able to escape. You know, the, the evil times, the bad times, okay, is reserved for them, okay? He said that they shall not be able to escape. So, see, we don't want to be a part of that, man. Okay, we want Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to have mercy and compassion upon us. This is why we started off with Ezekiel 14 and 6 to repent. It is time for us to repent as a nation, but we will know that what only the elect of the nation of Israel will do so. Okay, the chosen of the chosen. Okay, will repent to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and turn back. Lord's will will be a part of that number. Brothers is fighting every day. To please Yahweh by Shema Shai that we be made found worthy to escape the death and destruction, right? Okay, you know, keep on reading, brother. <clears throat> it says, And though they cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Mm. Yeah, it says, Though they cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Okay, that is a cold, cold situation, man. Okay, you know, remember that we just read the Lord is what. Going to show mercy and compassion unto those that fear him, trust in him, and call upon his holy name. Remember, those same people who do so, which is the elect, he said he forgiveth their sins. Okay, he blot them out. Okay, all right, he forgiveth what they've done, he forgets about them. For clean sleep, all right? But for those who are prideful and don't want to turn back, everything, all your charges are stacked upon you. Okay. All right, he shows what mercy unto the elect. It says, and save us in the time of trouble. We're coming into that time of trouble that the elect are only going to be saved out of. We just read what Jeremiah 11 and 11 that what? That the evil is going to come upon two thirds of our people that they shall not be able to escape. The Lord's bringing that. You know, this is the seriousness of the situation. This is why we need to repent. Okay, you read, you need to repent, repent, repent. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that Lord's will, you know, we be a part of that number, the elect to be saved for mercy to be shown upon us. Okay, you know, um, brother, could you uh quickly get the um, uh, I'm trying to think, Slaki, the scripture, uh, it's leaving my mind right now, Slaki, trying to think of it right now, but uh, jump down to verse 14 on that one, brother. All right, this is verse 14. Therefore, pray, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. And see, and that's the mind frame that we have. If you don't want to get right with the Lord, we're not we're not praying for you. You you did this to yourself, okay? All right. The scriptures say, All those that hate of me love of death. If, so if you hate turning back unto the Lord, you love death. That's just plain and simple. Okay. So what 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 does it look like that we pray for you if you don't even love your own life? Okay. You know, this is this is the mind frame that the elect are gonna have towards the two thirds, man. Because you are not getting right with the Lord after everything that the Lord has done for us as a nation. You still don't want to get right with Him. He's had mercy on us. He could have did us away, but He kept His promise. Uh, according to our forefathers, man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay, you know, you know, we're living in a time that is really going to be shown that it was the best thing to fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and repent. Okay, brother, can you get Luke uh, twenty one thirty six? 
there's still a little bit more up there. Oh, yeah, Conkai, go ahead, read that, brother. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The Lord said he's not going to hear them. In that time, the Lord is not going to hear them, man. You know, the, that you got to let that sink in. In the time that they're in trouble, they're evicted, getting shot down in the streets, raped, robbed, murdered, whatever, man. Every, the worst things you could possibly think on in this earth. When you try to call on God, he is not going to come through. Just let that sink in. All this time, you've been going to church and doing this, but not turning back into Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, saying sorry, but really haven't changed your life. And the time that you need so-called need him the most, he's going to ignore you. Let that sink in, man. OK, let that put the fear in you right there, man. OK, you know, this is what we need to do. OK, because we want to be found worthy to escape the death and destruction because two thirds ain't. You will not escape that if you're a part of the two Kirk two thirds club, man. Lord's will we are part of the elect of the nation of Israel, the one hundred and forty four thousand, and the one third men, women, and children who believe and trust and fear in Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, and call upon His holy name, okay. Lord's will we are part of that number because two thirds they don't have none of those attributes. They don't trust in the Lord. They don't fear Him, and they, you know, damn sure not using His name, okay. You know, uh, uh, go ahead, Luke, bro. Well, where in Luke? Uh, 2136. All right, this is Luke chapter 21, verse 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always mm -hmm. that ye may be accounted worthy. To escape all the things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Kind man. It said what? Repent. Okay. You gotta repent first. All right. You know, I know that scripture does say repent, but I'm just saying that to the spirit, repent. Okay. You know, that you may be accounted worthy, man. Okay. To escape all the different instruction. It said, watch and pray always. A part of praying is what well. repenting. Repentance is a prayer. Okay, because prayer goes back to what? Begging. That's why what? The prayer in Manasseh said what? I beseech thee. I humbly beseech thee. I humbly beg you. I pray unto you that you forgive me for my sins. Okay. Okay. You forgive me for my wrongdoings, my my shortcomings. Okay. You know, this is what we're praying to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, that he forgives us, you know, and keeps his Holy Spirit upon us, man, that we be uh, a part of the elect, man. Okay. You know? Because to, to escape all the death and destruction that the Lord said he was going to bring, man, the plagues, the sword, the famine, death and destruction. We want to escape all that. OK, you know, because two thirds, they're not going to be found worthy to escape any of that. All right. And we don't want to be a part of that, man. OK, you know, I'm going to get this um, scripture off the comment board is the uh, GMS. Uh, keep pushing brother. Brother Kabad. Shalom. Shalom. OK, this is a uh, axe. The book of yeah, the book of Acts eight Three. and twenty two. It says, "Repent, therefore, of of this thy wickedness, and and pray to the Most High, if perhaps thy thoughts and thy thoughts of thy heart may be forgiven thee." All right. So what? Repent, okay. Repent for what you've done on this earth, because we all have done something wrong. We all have broken the law, statute, commandments. Okay, you know we all have gone off, but but repent, turn your life around according to the scripture. Okay, turn your life around that Yahweh Bashimal Shai may have mercy upon you and forgive you for your sins. Because remember, we said that what that He's only having mercy upon those that fear Him, that trust in Him, that that what that that call upon His own name, that repent, that turn back unto Him. That's the ones He's having mercy on. He, that's because He's going to save in the time of trouble. Okay, you know, all right. So, hey, repent, 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 man. All right, to the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you know, you got, you got something, bro? Yeah, this is uh, you ready for it? Yeah, kind, kind. All right, this is a uh, Sirach 17 and 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. Mm hmm. 
and comfort those that fail of impatience. That's right. You know, they failed in patience. That's right. All right. So look, he, he's going to turn on to those that repent. And if you repent, the Lord, you know, in, in such a way, because only the elect are going to repent. OK, you know, the Lord is going to forgive you for your sins. Lord, as well, we be a part of that number, man. That is very important that you will. You repent. You repent. We repent to Yahweh Bashim Shai. OK, you know, any more on that, brother? Yeah. Verse 25, return unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and forsake thy sins. Mm -hmm. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Hey, make that his prayer before his face. Repent, you know, and offend less. Meaning what? Do better. You now know better. You got to do better, man. And we say that to ourselves first before we say that to any other brothers, man. We have to do better, man, that we know better now. Turn back into Yahweh by Shema Shai before it's too late, man. Or you don't want to be caught up in that death and destruction. I promise you. Okay. Lord said it's going to be what? Some of the worst times on the planet Earth, man. Ever. Ever. Okay. All right. So turn back into Yahweh by Shema All right. Any more on that, bro? Yeah. Um, verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. Mm -hmm. Turn into Yahweh by Shai and turn away from iniquity. Keep on going. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently. You know, which means extremely, you know, you know, vehemently basically goes into that, you know, uh, having that fervent hatred for. OK, you know, hate the abominations, the old things, the old wickedness that you was in. Hate it. To the T, okay. So turn back to Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. This is a message to our people, man. You know, because death and destruction is at the doorstep, and you don't want to be caught with death in your house, man. Okay. So any more on that, bro? That was it. All right. I will end it off with uh, Ecclesiastes, you know, twelve. You oh. know, because out of everything that the brothers is saying, this what it boils down to, man. Okay. You know, repent in this scripture right here, man. Okay. All right. Got it, bro? No, uh, it's coming right now. Kind, kind, you know. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. <clears throat> Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All right, so this Here. is summing up everything that brothers were saying, okay? To sum up everything, repent, and what, brother? Keep on reading. Fear the Most High. All right, fear you how about Shemel Shai, because if you fear the Lord and his judgments, all right, the sword, death, destruction, famine, all that. Guess what? You will turn back unto him. Okay, you will repent. But that's the elect of the nation of Israel. Keep on reading. And keep his commandments. Mm -hmm, which means this. what? Keep his commandments to the best of your ability. Slot here, brother. You know, it said keep his commandments to the best of your ability. We're trying. Try your hardest in America to do what you can do according to the scriptures, man. Okay. The Lord sees your efforts. Okay. Try. Put in that effort to please Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And that's what the elect of the nation of Israel will do. Okay. You know. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty requirement. Okay. Of the nation of Israel. Okay. Man, woman, and child. Okay. So if you find yourself believing in these words that brothers are speaking right now. The words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Turn back. Repent. All right, because death and destruction is at the doorstep and you don't want to be caught up in that. You want to be saved and have mercy be found upon you. OK. All right. So uh, any other scriptures, brother, before we close out? Mm. Um, I'm about to look at it real quick. Kind, kind. You know, um, you know, hey man, just like you said, man, repent, you know, and, and turn back into Yahweh by Shimon Shot because you know, uh like I said, we gotta keep on reiterating death and destruction is here, you know. People being shot down in the streets, you know, diseases coming, the bubonic plague over there in California. Okay, you know, you got the this uh, new strain of COVID, which is like a pneumonia, you know. All these things were uh, you know, said from Yahweh Shemel Shai is what for the wicked. Okay. All right.
Capcom. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 21, verse 1. My son, as thou sinned, do so no more, but as but as for pardon for thy former sins. Mm, that's right, man. So not only repent for the things that we've done in this life, okay, but for the things that we've done in our past lives, man, all the sins that we ever committed, okay? Pray the al Shah that he forgives us for all of our sins, okay? You know, and if you know that you sin, sin no more. Turn back, do better, okay? You know, do better. You know, try your hardest. The Lord sees your efforts, okay? Okay, the Lord sees how hard you're going for him, and he's not going to uh, uh, forget that, man. Okay, so with that, you know, um, is that it on that, brother? No, a little more. Okay, can we it read says, it? It says, flee from sin as if, I mean, as from the face of a serpent. Mm -hmm. For if thou comest too near, I mean, too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men hey man turn away from that wickedness man you know flee from it like you you're seeing a serpent and a lion man because it will devour you at the end of the day okay scripture said the wages of sin is death all right so flee from the wickedness man and do better please you how about shimiao shai fear him keep his commandments to the best of your ability you know this is what the elect of the nation of israel will do okay Anyone on that, brother? That was all. Hey, hey, so hopefully this lesson was edifying, you know, you know, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before we close out, let to give all praises unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rokarkadash. Bahashim Rokarkadash. You know, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Who rule well and taught us his truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect of the nation Israel, we say Shalom. Shalom.